Hey, what's up guys, it's me, Dr. Josh, and a lot of people ask a question that I just wanted to answer, um, and maybe I thought the whiteboard would be helpful. So the question I get is, um, should I do memberships or should I do packages? And um, it's kind of an important point that I think the goal of, if you're going down the path of building your own clinic gym hybrid, I think the long-term goal is building up a membership base. I think that's really the pinnacle. It does take work, it takes effort and whatnot, but anybody that has memberships will tell you what a better business model that is. And if you just look like Netflix is a membership, Amazon Prime is a membership, Costco is a membership, all the companies that are growing, Dollar Shave Club, all these huge companies that are growing, all move towards that membership model. So I just want to kind of do this on the whiteboard to show you why. So let's say that you are an established chiropractor and you've been really good in your community and you get one new patient a day, every day. So 20 working days of the year, uh, or sorry, 20 working days of the month, you get 20 new patients, right? So I just have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, all the way down to December. So you get 20, 20, 20, 20, and you get the idea, right? So 20, 20, 20, blah, blah, blah. So, and if we see each patient for 12 visits, 20 times 12 is equals, uh, that's 240 visits per month. And if we say that each patient visit is, I don't know what to use as an average, just, I don't know. Uh, let's say a cash visit is $60, all right? $60. You might say that's low, so if we get that, we get six times zero is zero, six times four is 24, two, 12, 14. So you're making, 14,400 if you're collecting $60 per visit, right? So 14,400 a month in that active clinic stuff. Now, obviously every month you're gonna get reactivations, you're gonna get a lot of other people, but let's just say that this holds true, right? So if this number holds true, you're gonna make this month and this month you're gonna make 14,400, okay? And if you're taking home half of that, that's roughly $7,000 a month, take home meaning it costs you about half of that um, take home, take, it costs half that to run the place. All right, so if we can, we, what we see most of our clients do, if we track the numbers, is between 17 and 23% of them, sorry, they, they convert between 17 and 23% of all their patients into a membership-based fitness model if they're asking everybody. You have to ask everybody, but between 17 and 23%. So let's just say 20%, one-fifth, of these people become members. So in that means if I multiply this by uh, 20%, that means we get four members per month. So in January, we have four, eight, 12, 12 times four would mean here we have 48 members, right? So we have our 48 members that we're converting to membership. And we see most people in this model do a high-end membership where you provide a lot of expertise and the right kind of training, and it pays between $200 and $300 a month. So let's just say $250, okay? So we have $250 of membership on average. Let's say that's average membership. And with 48 members, now you're not getting there till December, right? It starts out slow here. So here you have a four members is $1,000 of membership here, but down here, what is it? So 48 members times 250 is, what do we got? Zero, eight times five is 40, right? Two times eight is 16, it's 2000. Uh, sorry, two, 16 plus four is 20. Let's see, we got zero, 20, two is eight, 12, all right, so you're making roughly $12,000 a month off membership money. Now, why is that important? This month, if you say you're making fourteen four per month and I take a week off, right? I basically divide this by four and I have to subtract that amount of money. So I take a week off because there's no Cairo in the office to provide care. So that divided by four is gonna give me, 12 would be 3,000, 24. I think it's 3,800 bucks a week, all right? 
So I lose $3,800 for the week. But here, if I'm making $12,000 and I have trainers teaching it, I wanna take a week off and vacation, or even one of the trainers wants to, we have another trainer fill in, and guess what? We still make 12 grand for the week. Now, as this continues to climb, you can see that pretty soon, after the first year, your membership money is gonna be your new patient money. Now, I've cleaned up a lot of the details here. This isn't a perfect equation. You're not gonna retain everybody. You're gonna have some churn there. And here, if you have 20, you're probably gonna grow through referrals and word of mouth, but you can see that this starts to grow. In the second year, look, imagine if you had 96 members, bringing in $24,000 a month off membership with no work on your own. Sure, you have to hire staff members and teach them, but man, that's a really good model. So that's why we say go for membership long-term because it's more profitable. And what we see in our best performing clients is this money is what drives the business every month. This money is basically their take home pay. So whatever you make in the clinic can be taken home because your membership is driving and it's more predictable and everything. So it's just a better business model. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, and I hope you appreciate that video. If you have any questions, post them below in the comments. See ya.